Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video it's going to be another mod showcase but it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a real life car. It is going to be a modded GTA vehicle. This is going to be the modded Tempesta. This was brought to us by GTA Wise Guy and he has created a fucking monster. Look at that. Obviously it is the original Tempesta but he has uh, made slight modifications to this. Uh, quite obviously the wide body kit. And we've got some new rims on there and some crazy wide wheels. Look at that. That is fucking nuts. So what we're going to do quickly now is quickly go into my spawner. And uh, we are going to try and spawn another Tempesta. I think it's just going to be Tim. Oh my god. What am I doing? Let's quickly go back into that. I press backspace. Can't do that. What the fuck? Tempesta. So... Here we go, side by side comparison of the original Tempesta and GTA Wise Guys wide body Tempesta. So like I said, overall not a massive, massive amount of difference, but the difference that has been made, or the changes that has been made should I say, are fucking amazing. This wide body just looks so freaking cool. On this vehicle and obviously them fucking crazy rear wheels as well is is insane um but yeah like i said the changes that he has made are, are really really nice and it's debadged as well as you can see on the original tempest we have a little badge on the back on this wide body version we do not and if we come around to the front we've got oh no we've got badges on both on the front as well but i think everyone will, will agree that this wide body version is a lot nicer so now we are in the LS Customs. We're going to start with 100% body armor. Go to the brakes, get the race brakes, and we've got the bumpers. So we do have an additional options for bumpers. So we've just got the stock bumper at the start. Then we've got this custom splitter. And then the same with the canards. And this six star fatty nappy splitter. <laughs> that actually looks fucking pretty nice, man. I like that. It looks really cool. So yeah, we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we've got the chassis the stock and then we've got a roll cage ah oh, it's a dash dodger as well which is nice i'm liking that so we're gonna go with a roll cage the engine we're gonna get level four exhausts oh look at them fucking meaty little things yeah boy oh do i want the titanium though or do we want the chrome i think we're gonna we're gonna go with we're gonna go with the chrome ones what the hell not then we've got the hood Loads of options for the hood, man. What the fuck? So we've got carbon. Then we've got... If we come to this angle, we see that a little bit better. A carbon version of that. And then we've got cutouts at the top. That looks nice, man. I like that. I don't know if these are any different to the original Tempest or not. I know that one isn't. That's it. That's on the original Tempest, I'm pretty sure. But there's, uh, yeah, nice options, man. Real nice options. So I think I'm going to go with this one. That looks fucking mean as hell. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we've got the lights. We've got headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then we've got the respray. Actually looks really cool in yellow, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to change it. Um, maybe if we go primary and we go go metallic. And then we're going to go down to the yellows and see, um, see what it looks like in the different type of yellows that we've got. Right, so we do have the normal yellow. Then we've got the race yellow, which looks crazy, man. It, not sure about the the race yellow. It's a little bit too bright for my like. And then we've got the do yellow, which looks quite cool. And then we go to the greens. Don't want it green. Uh, wow, gold actually looks quite nice. Uh, at the minute, I'm guessing this is going to be the bright orange, which is obviously more like a yellow to me. Um, I think I'm going to go with this gold, this metallic gold. That looks really cool. So we'll go secondary color, also metallic, and change that to gold as well. And yeah, I think that looks really cool. I actually really like it in gold, man. So I think it's the first time I've actually done a metallic gold car. Then we've got the roof and uh, got the aerial. And then we've got, ooh, the six star chassis mounted wing. That is cool, man. Yeah, we're going to go with that bad boy. So I'm assuming that we haven't got any option for spoilers on this car. Anyway, we're going to go to the skirts next. And we've got the fatty nappy side skirt. Obviously, that matches the front bumper that we applied. And then just these standard ones, which don't look all too different to each other you know they'll all look pretty similar so we are going to go with this fatty nappy side, side skirt then we've got this we have spoilers on top oh shit son wow that is cool man i love that and obviously you got the six star crew.com uh, logo on the back as well 
then we've got an additional spoiler which feeds into the wing that we've got which actually goes quite well funnily enough and again another spoiler that feeds into the existing wing uh, not that one not so much and neither that one uh, that one actually doesn't look too bad they feed well to the, together as well but these ones I was impressed with and they look fucking awesome so uh, yeah I'm gonna go with this uh, six star painted ducktail and slats then we're gonna go transmission get the race transmission turbo we'll get turbo tuning and the wheels now the wheels we've got are one of a kind obviously so I kind of want to keep them um, what about if we go wheel we can't change the wheel color though what the hell huh that's irritating I don't really don't want them yellow we we'll have to change them I think which is a shame it's a real shame so what we are going to have to do uh, when we change these wheels I'm going to have to go into V-Stance and um, make my other wheels as wide as these because if we go into wheel type and we'll start with a sport wheel go to Inferno oh no actually they actually stay really big I was expecting them to shrink right down so they are a little bit smaller but not as small as I thought they were going to go so that's, that's oh, oh hang on we go backwards and forwards they change them to uh, alloy, which is nice. And I actually really do like the the stock rims because obviously that they're, they're different. We it's nothing like what we've got here, and it's a lot better than everything that we've got here as well. To be fair, so uh, yeah, we're gonna stay stock for the wheels because they're just one of a kind. They look fucking awesome. Then we've got the tires, tire enhancements, purchased the bulletproof tires for the windows, light smoke, and that's it. That is fucking sweet as fuck. Let's get out of here. And as you can see, this wide body Tempesta man. Especially in that gold metallic, it looked amazing. So nice, man. So nice. Big props to fucking GTA Wise Guy for creating this. And um, yeah, let's take it for a little drive. See what happens. That just sounds amazing. I, I'm pretty sure the Tempesta, the original Tempesta, don't sound like this when you drive. And this is definitely quicker than the original Tempesta, man. We've fucking hit 120 already. That is ridiculous speeds. I know the Tempesta is quick, but I don't think it's as quick as that. So the acceleration on this thing is rapid. So, it's topping out at 120. Oh no, it's still, it's still climbing. Still climbing. I keep forgetting I'm Franklin and I can do this. Whee! I need to keep reminding myself of that. There we go. So we hit 180. Oh my fucking God. So if we go into this Franklin time freeze. Oh, look, we're at 160. Obviously we haven't got the uh, hindrance of traffic I'm going to run out in a minute we're over 200 miles an hour we're still going 240 it's through the gap thread the needle thread the needle oh we run out and we're fucking 240 we're going up in the sea no no oh my god this car is fucking quick man real quick so 240 miles an hour this hit and that's not I haven't applied any torque or anything to this this is how is how I've downloaded it exactly how I've downloaded it and that is fucking insane wow that is um yeah that's impressive man so like I said at the beginning mad props to GTA wise guy for creating this car and uh, for sharing it with the community it is fucking awesome I hope Rockstar do create this tuners and outlaws DLC at some point and use um GTA wise guys cars as maybe influence to what they could do with with the dlc because i think this is a very sought after dlc and i think a lot of people will get invested in it maybe even bring old players back to the game and i know for damn sure that i'd be interested in it and i'd want to see all these vehicles in 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 the game released by rockstar um but whether we do or not is yet to be seen but anyway guys that is going to be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like and if you haven't already subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and until next time guys i'm out adios